Hi, it's Patrick Almond here, and I just thought I'd set up the camera real quick and talk to you about a topic that is kind of near and dear to my heart. Whenever I think about productivity and when I can't do things and the mistakes I've made over the years. And if you ever go to the blog at stopdoingnothing.com and read about this, you know this topic is near and dear to my heart. And that is talking about the number 168. 168 is the number of hours you get every single week. You don't get 40, you don't get 24, you don't get 24 times 5, you get 168. That means when the clock flips over from Saturday night to Sunday morning, your clock starts all over again until, you know, 11.59 the next Saturday night, you've got 168 hours to figure out what the heck you want to do with your life. Not only that, you have 168 hours to actually stand up and do something with your life. Many people have this mindset that, you know what, life happens Monday through Friday and starts at 8 o'clock and ends at 5 o'clock and everything outside of that time is rest. Now, I'm not one for killing yourself in work, but I am one who believes that lo a lot of life happens outside of those 40 hours. And so that's the message I want you to take away from this video. 168 hours. Right now, it's Sunday. If I could show you the window, I'm here in Oklahoma. It's overcast, it's windy, the house is shaking. You might even be able to hear the window shake a little bit. Yet yeah, I'm at my desk, and it might be a little bit messy on the camera, I apologize. But I'm at my desk trying to figure out how I can market better this week. The time right now is, um, let's see, the phone says 4. 4.02. 4.02 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon on a windy overcast day in Oklahoma, and I'm in my office working. Now again, I'm not one for overworking, but there are some big dreams and big goals I have. And I realize I'm going to have to put in a lot of hours to get them. So please take that away from this video. Please remember that you have 168 hours to work on your dreams, to work on your body, to work on your business, to work on whatever juices you and wakes you up in the morning. Stop thinking that life starts 8 o'clock on Monday morning. It stops at 5 o'clock on Friday night. With all these hours that we have, you can choose to do anything you want 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you don't like your job and you can find another job that's better suited to your hours because you're a night person, then go to that job. There are so many people that you know are awake 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning doing the thing that they love because they don't want to sleep. And that's the time they get available to do it. Now I know it's really hard sometimes. It's really hard to, to change that mindset when you have a 40 hour a week job or a 60 hour a week job. When you, you have a job that long because you're working that many hours to survive because that's all you can get. And at the end of the day, you know what? You're not really too interested in putting in those whole extra hours for your dream. Well, my question is to you is, do you want to die in that job where you're working 60 hours a week? Is that really making you happy? If not, then you know what? Find a couple of hours every single week to do a little bit more of that thing you love, to work on a little bit more of that dream. You may only have five hours, you may only have two hours, but you know what? Use that two hours. Get off your ass and use those two hours. Get away from the TV, get away from the internet, get away from Facebook, and use those two hours to your benefit. I don't care how much spare time you have. Find the spare time to do the thing you love and do it. It's gonna be in the morning, it's gonna be in the evenings, it's gonna be in the weekend, but you need to find that time to do that thing you love and get on it. Time is finite. Your life is finite. You were born a certain day and you are going to die on a certain day. The day is not going to stretch. There's not always going to be a tomorrow. When you want to do something that you really want to love, when, don't think that you're eventually going to get to it. You're not eventually going to get to it. Your plans, your dreams, your hopes aren't going to magically fall into your lap. If you're a guy like me who loves to fly and I want to get my pilot's license someday, I can't just wait for my pilot's license to, lock up, to knock on the door. I need to drive down to the damn airport and roll in the class and get my pilot's license, and I did. And there's so many other things like that that I want from my life, and I know that you want for your life also. But they're not going to fall into your lap. Great things done, are done by great people, and those great people reached out and started working on those things. So whether it's a book you want to write, whether or not you want to make videos like this, whether or not you want to start a business, whether or not you want to move to Alaska, it doesn't matter what it is, start taking quantifiable action every day, every week, every hour, and every month to get there. This has been Patrick Allman from StopDoingNothing.com. I'd love to hear your feedback below. Take care.